How was your 2019? Which moments you're gonna remember forever because they brought you pure joy, happiness and fulfillment? When were your lowest moment? We all have those moments. And what you're gonna celebrate at the end of 2019 with a big bang? Hi, I'm Bilana Georgieva, a non-executive director, digital business transformation expert and a public speaker. And this video is about my 2019. Let me start with the most proud moments of this year. The first award what I received this year was from the Professional Speakers Academy, voting for me as a first place at the quarter competition with the public speakers. The second award was the annual award from the Professional Speakers Academy, giving me the most improved member for year 2019. And the third award came from the Women Economic Forum as iconic woman creating a better world for all. I spoke at various stages at Retail Expo in London, at the Fashion Law London in a private lawyers club in central London, at the Women Economic Forum, which was my very first ever motivational speech, actually two of them, and TEDx, TEDx talk in December was absolutely epic. I also wrote several blogs for professional networks. I gave interview for Page One Woman and for 100 Entrepreneurs Journey. And I spoke at the book launch of an amazing woman who now became my friend. The second half of this year felt like I've been constantly in front of a camera and on stages and I loved it. But let me tell you this, the results what you see of all edited posts and videos is actually a result of a lot of sleepless nights, being between serving my clients and posting on social media. I have so many weeks of no breaks and no weekends, so this year I decided to actually take a completely new approach. And the first step was to create and build a team. The second step was to keep serving my clients and give my best. And the third one, to post on social media and gain visibility on what I do. When I started in February, very few people knew that I became a non-executive director and I changed my career. Today, at the end of the year, more than 1 million people know my name, my face or engage with me through social media. I hired mentors and coaches to help me with my brand, with my message, with my speaking skills, with my social media marketing strategies. Together with my team, we posted thousands of posts. We published 56 articles till today and 21 videos across LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. And this only in eight months. And one of the biggest results actually was when on LinkedIn, I started with just above 3000 followers and just in five months, these followers tripled. I now have more than 9000 followers. So thank you. Thank you for liking, sharing and commenting on all these posts. Thank you for watching all these videos. This for me means that the topics what I put out there because they're so close to my heart, they're also close to your heart, so thank you. A big thank you also to my team. The biggest challenge for every single entrepreneur out there when we start a new business is actually to build a team, to create this beautiful team, to help us do the work and I've been so proud that I now have amazing people in my team which are so gifted in what they do so thank you I appreciate every one of you you may be now thinking oh she's rocking it her life is so perfect yes I am rocking it but let me share with you my lowest moments in 2019 they actually started at the end of 2018 I spent last year seven months working smart and hard on a new business and one Sunday afternoon I received a call which completely shred to bits my whole business and I couldn't even launch it I was completely devastated, my heart was broken and I was pretty much depressed and that's how I started 2019. In addition, I was in a, such a massive pain because I injured my left shoulder, I couldn't move it. It's the so-called frozen shoulder, I couldn't even wear clothes by myself. And imagine, that was the beginning of my 2019, being depressed 
and being in a such big pain, 11 out of 10, if 10 is the maximum what a human body can take on. I had so many days when I was lacking confidence, I was totally confused what my next business steps will be. I was, um, I just didn't want to see many people, which is pretty much being completely depressed. So in February, I decided to take a slightly different approach in my life, personal and business one. And I start studying quantum physics. Yep. So I passed level one and two, watching them at home because I didn't want to leave my house. And then in April, I joined a week-long retreat in Mallorca. Let me tell you this, it took a lot of courage from me to spend one week with 1,400 people in a tent, long hours of lectures and meditation. And guess what, there is no coincidence in our life, but the name of the event in Mallorca was called The New Normal. Guess what? I loved it, it changed my life, and I repeat again in November the week-long retreat, but this time in Malta. So, I learned a lot of lessons and I would love to share those lessons with you. The first one is that if I work smart and hard for six months, I need to give myself also one week to just be with myself and switch off completely from everything and everyone else. My job is to support other businesses and other people, to be there for them. But I'm also there for my family, for the people who I love, for all my friends. And if I want to keep giving the best of myself, I also want to give the best to myself. So the best gift what I can give to myself is every five to six months to give one week to concentrate on my own soul. This is the way how I can keep developing myself and exploring something which is outside my comfort zone. It is my way to connect to my own source of energy, to the multidimensional world, what we call it in the quantum physics, and all the beauty in it. To forget about myself and surrender in the unknown. To open up my heart and expand, because life is not about me, but something much bigger than me. To look at the physical world around me and explore. To teach my body emotionally how that future of me feels like. To create for fun and expand. So here are my questions for you. What are you creating for yourself today? Who are you walking as right now? Wishing you a Merry Christmas full with joy, love and magic. Thank you for watching.